with the coffee. Enjoying my coffee. Coffee black. It's my morning coffee. Coffee. Have a cup of coffee with me. What? <laughs> Matt, can I get that coffee to go? What's good, y'all? Prince Sports coming at you with another one. This is the way. Steph Curry, LeBron James, they got opportunities tonight to close their opponents out. And Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Why don't you make And meet each other in the second round of the playoffs. A big history between those two. And they got something in common. Something just happens to match up. They both chasing the fifth championship for their legacy, and which is big for both of their legacy. All right, if Steph wins it, he's the man of this generation. Um, he'd be a solidified top 10 player of all time. And he gets to have the privilege of people saying, or the fight, the vice of crowd to say, hey, Steph Curry's better than LeBron James. He will have all the credit for that because you will have to beat LeBron James to win your fifth championship again. A guy that you beat numerous times already anyway. As far as LeBron James, he has a chance to even the score because everybody that he's faced on the biggest stage there is has beaten him more times than he has beaten them. With the exception of Kawhi Leonard, they happen to be tied 1-1. And um, Kawhi Leonard's ownership, though, or his stranglehold, the narrative around it from 2014, um, you know, how he forced LeBron James to be <laughs> non-reluctant to shoot, turnover prone, all of this other stuff. Um, he put that work in on him. So LeBron has to some uh, explaining to do with that. But at least he could get a step closer um, to solidifying his spot for good, 100% guaranteed a top five player if he could win the fifth championship. He'd be right there with the rest of the guys that he's actually competing with in terms of um, at least winning some chips, like the the Kobe's and Tim Duncan's. He's going to have to win at least, he got five, he's going to have to win at least two more to one more to get to that level of the Kareem's, you know, and Jordan's. But even though I think, even if he gets six, um, it's still going to be hard for him to surpass, you know, certain certain guys because uh, it's how he's winning. You know, it's in fashion of how he's winning. But he could change that history right now. You know, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat. Let me clear my throat. But <clears throat> here's the thing. Um, this is a good test to the legendary status. LeBron James said, he vows that he's going to beat the Grizzlies tonight. That means you're going to pit on the show then. Because you said losing is not an option, basically. Right? So, if you do lose tonight's game, then that means I'm going to criticize you the way you're supposed to be criticized. Because, look, when you put your foot in your mouth or you talk a lot of shit, you're going to have to back it up. All right? Because everything you say is going to have to have a consequence behind it. There's actions behind everything you say. And there's actions suspected behind everything you say. And you got to produce and come through. So with that being said, you need to win championships for your legacy because you got six finals losses. You know, they were saying last night, some announcers were saying, how many losses LeBron got in the finals? The guy was like, a whole awful lot. <laughs> You got to make up for that, all right? You got to make up for the fact that you've never been a part of the dynasty because you've been a mercenary, all right? All the greats before you have all similar things in common on their resume. Dynasties, won more than they lost. You got to get into that atmosphere. And the only way for you to get in that atmosphere is actually to get seven because that'll put you over six finals losses. You know, so that's a hell of a feat to do. And six is 50-50 for you. You don't get no passes for the other six losses. You know, it is what it is. You know, now, will it boost up your 
remount your your status to get sex, hell yeah, it boosts it up. You know, and there'll be some people that think that, hey, you don't need a seven. But if you want to match everybody else and you want to get that edge over a lot of people, have something that nobody else have. Get seven championships in modern NBA history. Right? That makes sense. I mean, <laughs> It is what it is. You're going to have to do something indifferent to pitch yourself on top. Mike did it. Kareem did it. You know? And all these guys were just topping each other's success. Pause. You know? <laughs> know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. You got a lot of work to do. You know? We're past the point of individual accolades at this point. Now, for just these two guys... Because they're the face, they're defining this whole generation. They have to win. Simple as that. And you can make a case Steph Curry is more generational um, defining than LeBron James because he really changed the game of basketball around. LeBron James didn't change basketball around. He just changed player movement and player empowerment. But that don't have that much of an impact on a basketball court in terms of style of play and legacy. You know, all you did is just encourage guys to want to play with each other. And you could argue if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I say it's a bad thing. You know, I don't know why well, I want to be playing with, you know, somebody that I should be able to beat to prove that I'm better or I'm the best player of my generation. That just makes all the sense in the world to me. But we're going to see what's up. We're going to see what's up tonight. All right. Or this opportunity for these guys to close out, you know. This is definitely going to be a time period piece because when you watch this video a couple of years from now, people going to be like, what is he talking about tonight, tonight? <laughs> you know, I just realized that. But it is what it is, man. Sports out. Peace.